Hello CGToyo friends! In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to export from a scene of Maya 2017 to an OVJ or an FBX file, okay? So I'm gonna open up a scene. This is a very old scene I did it in 2008. Mm, I still was at BFS trying to make a great demo reel. La la la. Okay, so it's gonna open now. There we go. Okay, so once we got our scene, okay, so what we got here? So um, we got many objects, okay? If, wanna, if we want to export all of the objects, all we have to do is go to File, Export All, and choose the format we wanna export. As you can see, we do not have the, the option for OBJ or FBX, okay? And the way to activate that is over here, in Window, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager, okay? So by default, it's not loaded. All you have to do is go to the Plugin Manager and search for the export, okay? And we got different options, but the last two is the ones that we want to activate, so we're gonna click here, check mark unloaded for both. And if we want Maya to automatically have it uh, when you open it, if you want it activated once you open Maya, you just click here auto load, okay? So let's click fresh, close, and it's saved, okay? So as I was mentioning, as I mentioned, uh, if we export alt, it's gonna export all the scene. And now as you can see, we got all the options here. Okay, so let's just export a selection. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is the only thing I want to export. So to do that, I'm gonna go there to File, Export Selection, and we have two options. And we have these two options for most of uh, our menu. Okay, and uh, same for Export All. And okay, let's let's try here. If we go to Export Selection to this little square. We got the options for either OBJ or FBX as we wish to export, okay? Um, FBX has become most of the standard for pretty much all the programs. And um, and you can export more information in the FBX file, so I highly recommend to use that. If you only want to export the mesh, um, you export as an OBJ, okay? so. Okay, so you saw that little square, okay? So now let's go to this one, not the square. Just click it, normal. And we also have the options here, so you don't really have to click the other one. The other one is only to save it, and you can export it later. Okay, now we got the option here to export either to the desktop, documents, uh, etc. Okay, so back to this, if I select FBX export, as you can see, I got all these options to select from, okay? Geometry, animation, cameras, lights, etc., etc. Okay, so that's why FBX is becoming a, a, it's already the standard for uh, for pretty much all the cross-platform companies. And and uh, and if you want to use the OBJ, there's a, there's only so few options. Uh, but in this case, well, I'll do both. Let's say OBJ export. So I'm gonna make this tutorial very long. And well, this was a selection of the scene, okay? So export, okay? And if this result is not red, it means that it went successfully, okay? It says the location where it exported the object. But I wanna try the FBX to show you something. Export selection, let's go with FBX, well, this one, FBX export, and file name, uh, let's go FBX selection export, okay, I'll put it everything on my desktop, I'm just gonna leave all the options right there, but as you can see with FBX, well, with the geometry, you got more uh, options, okay, so the norms, for example, when I have norms here in this scene, I got the cables, those are norms, and if I wanna, mm, let's just switch it to software render mesh. Okay, you can ignore all of this, 
if you don't have nerves on the scene, you can just leave it like that, okay? So most, most of the time you will do that. So let's just leave it there, nerves, excuse my dog. Okay, and you get these uh, warnings and error dialogue, just ignore it. Uh, most of the time you'll have a few um, errors in the scene, but it's gonna work its way around. So just close it, as you can see here, we got the result, and FBX is done, okay? So remember, we only exported this selection, okay? These objects. So now, if I go to my desktop, it should be here. We got the OBJ file and the FBX that we already did. Okay, and if you're in Windows, uh, you can open a 3D object with the 3D view and you can see it here. This is for the FBX, okay? This is kind of cool because you can preview it from here that it's already working fine, okay? And well, that's, uh, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. I hope uh, it works for you. Okay, and a quick note, as you can see, since those cables were NURBS, it didn't export them, okay? Because I didn't switch the NURBS to mesh. But I guess that wouldn't make sense right now if you're looking only to export OBJ or FBX files. Okay, so this was a, basi a basic tutorial. I hope it worked for you and it helped you. So I'll see you around in a different tutorial. We'll see ya.